to uh, head home to the rest of the court, the course on the other side of the place. <laughs> I'm a rookie. Rookie in this whole thing. What a rookie. I know, man. Buju and Anishinaabe, welcome to Red Mike Podcast. Hey, what's up, everybody? Buju and Anishinaabe. This is Red Mike Podcast. I'm your host, Thomas X. And today, we're with the bro god, the one and only Chance Rush. How you doing, brother? Man, I'm doing good. Actually, it's an honor to be on your program today, man. Real so, uh, what do you, um, yeah, go ahead, just grab the mic, like, see how you got, I got the front of the line right here? Yeah, Same thing okay. For you. All yeah, right, just, yep. There you go. Just want to be able to hear you good. So, what are you doing up here in Red Lake right now? Man, I uh, had the privilege to come in this whole week. The first two days, I had an opportunity to visit with the, um, the Red Lake uh, Youth Council to do a two-day training just on entrepreneurship, education, uh, fundraising, uh, how to brand uh, the, the youth council, and just how to play their part with the tribe, tribal uh, uh, leadership, uh, tribal community. And then, uh, of course, you know, one of my favorite times of the year is coming up for the, the annual uh, wellness gathering right here presented by uh, Red Lake. And I want to thank uh, uh, New Beginnings. I want to thank uh, Red Lake uh, Tribal College as well as uh, Chemical Health for inviting me, but also for putting on this event. It's a big deal, and, and I'm grateful to be a part of it. To be able to emcee it is, uh, you know, unexplainable, you know. So really, that, that's what I'm up here doing this week. Other than that, checking out the water, visiting the people, and uh, eating at the new subway in town. Yeah, man. Everybody go to the subway in Red Lake. Support the local business. That's right. Um, so, man, you've been coming up to Red Lake for a while now, bro. How many years have you been coming up here? You know, this is, uh, I believe I've been here for the past 15 years. You know, um, it all started, uh, you know, with our first uh, Red Lake Youth Conference, you know, uh, and, and we all, you know, some of us know the reason behind the, the Red Lake Youth Conference. Um, but I, I've been up here for the past 15 years. I never really missed a youth conference. I missed one time because, uh, you know, my father's uh, passing. Uh, but uh, been been up here uh, with uh, Chemical Health with uh, uh, Chairman Jordan when he was, when you know when Buck used to bring me up here back when he was chairman, um, and then you know just uh, friends and family kind of keep me coming up here a lot. You know Red Lake is a, a very a very special place. Uh, you know to uh, to me, it's a it's I'm a, it's a home away from home. You know just by the my brothers up here, the families up here, and. Just the way that the uh, the community has allowed me to be who I am up here and welcome me to uh, dinner tables and welcome me into into their homes and so really means a lot, man. Yeah, bro, and uh, it's a mutual relationship. We really appreciate you and the time and the words and energy you bring up here. I was on that original youth council that I was helping coordinate the first youth conference up here. And that's when I first met you. You know, you mm -hmm. emceed, you were a facilitator, did a workshop, and I sat in on your workshop. And, man, like, um, e even back then, you were just so on point with what you had to say. I'm like, it's so dope to see a, a, a native adult male hold himself the way you do. And you were just nice with the words. Like, mm -hmm. growing up, I've always appreciated good comedians, rap artists, and, like, you know, at a young age, I learned about the John Trudells and the Russell Means. I've always been intrigued by people who could present something and you represent, you know, native country in such a unique way. You tie in, you know, the the old style comedy, native comedy culture with like modern, you know, times, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, you're, you're powerful and you're a real great MC. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like to the to the hip hop community, MC, you know, people think rapper mm -hmm. and then native native communities will think oh the guy at the powwow on the mic you know mm -hmm. mc is master of ceremony mm -hmm. and you know that's what you do man you get up there and you yeah. you run the program you let the people know and you make the people feel good so like ever since you've been coming up here man it's uh i always look forward to it and um, i'm always inspired by you i always like learn a little something new get a little bit extra energy from you that you know is needed and you bring that to everybody yeah. so we all love you up here in red yeah. lake man and you know that makes me think of uh last year you know, you came up here for the youth conference, as you always do. And, um, well, I'm, I'm going to let you get into that. So it was, it was, last year was a different situation. Yeah, last year was a real different situation. It was really difficult, you know. And before I get into that, man, you know, Thomas, I just want to say thank you for what you do. You know, um, if, uh, if some of you out there, you know, aren't familiar with Res Rap Records, um, you know, it's a, it's, it's a hip hop group and it's right out of here in Red Lake. You know, uh, you guys touch Minneapolis you guys touch uh, the Northern Plains 
Um, but, you know, I know that you could easily, you know, go off somewhere if you wanted to. But you stay you stay right here because you love this community. And I know both your parents and, you know, Tom and Karen have, have they've done a great job with uh, with you, you know, and, um, you know, through all the things that your family has been through, you know, uh, you, you make that commitment to to stay close, to, to, to stay together and, and to take care of your own, you know, and, and, and I want you to know that, man, I'm not saying that just cause I'm on your, your, your program today, but I'm impressed with you, man. Like, uh, you stay home, you know, you stay put, you love you, you love your neighborhood, you love your community. And, uh, this is where you're from and anywhere out there, I, I've seen you perform away from your hometown and everyone loves you, you know, and, and, and I'm inspired by that. So, you know, the, the the respect is 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 mutual you know on that you know and 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 i'm i'm real grateful for what you do and your outreach you always surprise me you always come up with something you know brand new you know i think the last time i was up here i was in a a, a music video for the first time ever you know and you were behind that you know and you did a concert you know and and you 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 sold out the show and you know you were behind that you know so you know uh Compliments to you, bro. I mean, you, you, you're, you're doing some really good things. And, you know, with that being said, um, you know, on uh, on May May 1st, you know, 2018, my mother was killed in a car accident by a drunk driver. And, uh, you know, about 99% of me was wanting to go back home and uh, be with my family. But uh, in that, man, I just heard, uh, I heard Creator tell me and I heard my mom, you know, the, the voice of my mom tell me, you know, go to Red Lake, you know, just... Don't come back yet. You know, you'll be back in time for the wake. You'll be back in time for the funeral. But go, you know, go on up there. And um, part of me thought maybe because someone up here was was hurting or struggling. But this is where I needed to come. I need to I need to come up here and, and I, I needed to be working and, and reaching out during uh, during during that time. And that was the hardest. That was the hardest time of my life. You know, Thomas, like I, I've never, you know, losing my father. Uh, that was detrimental. That was that was like, uh, you know, uh, a very very sad day. But when you when you lose your mom, you know, when you lose a mom that that raised you, and when no one else wanted to raise you, when it's her turn her turn to 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 to, to check in with God and, and go home to be with God, that was the end of the road for me. You know, and I never I never felt you know like out of place ever in my life. You know, so. I know how people, I know what people go through when they grieve their parents, but just know that your parents gave you something to continue to spread to other people. And I came up here, and real quick before we go to the next question, real quick, I remember when I came up here, I was just so broken, and I, and I was empty, and I was hurt. And right when I pulled up, I came inside the Humanity Center, and I was getting ready to do the, um, the uh, uh, fashion show. And, you know, you provided the music, you set everything up as usual, and, uh, you know, I was the MC, and when, when the event was all over, uh, somebody requested uh, Brendan Strong to sing a woman's, a woman's song for, for, for our ladies who were in the fashion show. And that's when I just lost it. I was done. But as he started singing, I don't know if you remember, you came up backstage, and you, you put your arm around me, and you said, man, I'm here for you, brother. You know, I'm here for you. Just, it's okay, man, I'm here for you. And just at that moment, I was in a better place again. And so... When I went home and, you know, this past year and a half, you know, people, you know, around the country, you know, or that, that I, you know, I come across or programs I work with, they say, I mean, how did you do it? How did you, how did you bounce back? How did you do whatever? And I think it's just you, you go and you keep making moves and you, and you keep, you, you hold on to what someone passed on to you for you to go encourage others. And so the reason why Red Lake was, is important to me to this day is I come here and I heal. This is my, you know, when I come up here to visit, I don't come up here to visit or work. I, I really come up here just to absorb the water and absorb the people. And this is my time of healing, you know, and, and Red Lake is a special place to me. So uh, I think, you know, of all things, I know I talk a lot, but one thing I learned is that, um, you know, Red Lake, that's what it really taught me is like uh, the, 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 the place I needed to be during that, during my mom's accident was heading to Red Lake, which I was doing. So special place. Yeah, man, we, we remember that. Like, when we heard about it, we were all devastated, and we were feeling for you. We love you so much, and we were basically starting to make backup plans. We're like, all right, like, Chance is probably going to go home and be with his family. 
and we were just scrambling of like ideas what should we do such a bummer not to have chance for this he's always here and then we got word like well chance is on his way he's like mm -hmm. on his way right now he's driving because he did an event in southern minnesota earlier so yeah. you were driving and we're like for real he's still coming and i was just like it was crazy but at the same time i was like yeah i mean that's chance yeah like he's he's out here you know and i think that's testament to the person you are it's uh you know when somebody goes through a situation like that losing somebody you know it it makes and it break it breaks them and then it makes them mm -hmm. and that's what it did for you 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 basically lived probably the way your mom would want you to yeah. you said your mom you felt like your mom was like you know go do it go do what you got to do and even in times like that you came up here you continued to heal you healed yourself and you helped heal other people bringing your good words and your vibes so yeah bro like i'll, I'll always remember that man and i was inspired because of the way you went about your business man and you did your thing we all we all knew it like man he's, he's got to be like struggling right now and yet you just persevered through and you yeah. just had you know your presentation and the way you mc and yeah i mean you're always inspirational man like i i look to you for inspiration the way you carry yourself as an mc it's made me a better rapper right like the way i want to present myself enunciate be real you know smooth with your words come correct in mm -hmm. what you say and you know because before in my younger days i just thought i had to get on stage and rap to the beat you know and just rap and you know and not even really interact with the crowd nowadays i'm all up in there like i'm just like talking to the crowd the elders the kids the youth the people really into it the people off in the back like you know you're the mc yeah you gotta control that crowd and you know you've uh you've mastered that but you right now you're um so this situation kind of led you to another um, point in your life where you're picking up acting. Yeah. 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 So uh, what, what's up with that? What you got going on with uh, acting lately? Man, you know, just, uh, you know, with, with my mom's passing, it opened so many, it opened my eyes uh, to a lot of different things. Number one is like, man, you've been doing this for a long time, you know? And the other one was just like, you know, get out there and do it. It wasn't even so much life is short. So, you know, go do what you want to do. Or it wasn't like you only live once. It was more like, you know, life is a blessing. Life is awesome. So, so go, go out and do and go become what you want to become. Because at the end of the day, if you're passionate about something, it'll probably happen. That's how ChanceRush.com was born is because I believed in something. I thought it would work and it did, you know, and now we're having an opportunity to go a lot of places. So, uh, yeah, I started pursuing acting. Um, I auditioned for a stage play uh, and I actually just wanted a small role because I, I never really acted ever, but I, I was something I was excited about. So I auditioned for uh, a small role in a stage play and i end up getting the lead role uh, it was a film called it's a, a stage play called sovereignty uh, written by mary Catherine nago who's a really powerful attorney out of uh, oklahoma and uh got on got on her uh got on her 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 lineup to to be in it and my character was john ridge um and uh, i i was i was the lead role it wasn't the most important role i don't think i think that there were some other uh, actors there that were just phenomenal, and I learned from them as they were actually doing it. And then with that being said, uh, I, did a, I did a commercial. I uh, did an Oklahoma lottery. I pretend like I won a bunch of money when I didn't. And then I also was in a, uh, uh, a little series called In the Gap. And I, was, I actually just saw myself on TV the other night. Uh, on, on, it was at the hotel. I was watching this. I was flipping through the channels, and I was in the background I was interested in an art show in a, in a downtown coffee shop in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and I just sat there and I smiled on, on the camera. So, um, but uh, yeah, I just auditioned for uh, Killers of the Flower Moon, uh, a, a Martin Scorsese and Leonardo DiCaprio uh, project that is about the Oklahoma, is about the Osage tribe in Oklahoma and the, and the oil. And so I auditioned for that. I hope and pray I get a call back on that. And then I'm getting myself, my, my hands into some other stuff with the other auditions. And so just going to pursue an acting career. And I'll tell you this, man, it's going to happen. You know, I mean, it, it's okay if I'm told no here and there, but somebody's going to tell me yes. I'm going to get in the door and I'm going to start this acting career. Anything I, I, I want to do, I have the drive to go do it. And so it may take me till I'm 45 years old, but I'm going to go make it happen. I'm going to go do it. So 20, doing this for 20 years, I'm excited and I'm ready. I'm excited for the next 20 years. Yeah, bro. I mean, I got all the faith in the world in you to make it happen mm -hmm. with uh, like some kind of acting career because you um you you're able to perform. You you are an entertain an an entertainer, and to, I I could see you getting better with it as you go. And I really hope you pull uh you know get some kind of role with that um Martin Scorsese and Leo yeah. film. I I just recently um uh 
learned about that whole thing the movie they're making out of the yeah. Osage tribe mm -hmm. yeah that's a that's a piece of history that needs to be told more it's things yeah. like that so yeah. uh, it'd be awesome if you're a part of it and yeah bro keep pursuing that that's um I, I, I can see it happening. I already yeah. can, bro. And yeah. I know you see the vision, too. You're going to make it happen. Yeah, and, and then they, and, and, and I'm also doing some auditions where I'm a, a bad guy. I'm a cartel member. So I'm going to go after some of those films and, you know, see what I could do. But you just have to be creative, and, you know, you just got to go do it. I mean, anybody can say that what they want to become, but that's all potential. You know, yeah. you've got to go out there and grind and, you know, be, be you know, turn into a product. You have to go out and, and turn into, you know. I would love to see you as a villain. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm I know you as. Yeah. I know you as Chance Rush. You know the powerful MC bringing the good medicine to the people. I would love to see you yeah. portray a villain. Yeah, I mean, I'd be. I think I could be a good one, but whatever I got to do to get on the screen, you know, and keep my clothes on while I'm doing it. Yeah, that's that's, <laughs> that, that's the big thing, you know. So I don't know, but, man. You might have to, you know, might to getting, flex. Yeah, you might have to flex every now and then. Yeah, so you have to get on your three hundred grind here and just you know the spray paint abs, the spray on abs. Man, if, I, if, if I'm gonna do that, I need to get in the gym. I need to go go work out, you know, right away. Which I need, which I'm gonna do after this. So, you bro, know. you still looking good. Thanks, you man. You look like how you did when you came up here 15 years ago. Yeah, you know what it is? It, it's every time I see you, you're always lifting, you're always drinking water, you're always doing something, and so. I was just like, man, that guy's always doing it. But, you know, I, I do. I, I know I need to take care of my body, not because, you know, what some things I want to do. But, you know, I guess what's the life expectancy of, a, of an Indian guy? You right. know, it's not that old. And so I know I passed it by a, a few years. And so, you know, I want to live a long life, man. I got a I got an awesome wife. She's she's my best friend. I got some beautiful children. I got a great calling that I need to go out and do. And. You know, I, I want to be I want to be on earth for for a long time. And, you know, it's going to take a lot of prayer and it's going to take a lot of taking care of yourself and your body, you know. And and, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just excited about what's going to happen in the years to come. I'm excited for you. Honestly, Thomas this is crazy. You know, I, I know that this has nothing to do with the program, but I remember uh, at the last minute uh, you came to where, where did you we, you, we came Turtle to Mountain. Turtle Mountain, Turtle Mountain out of nowhere. And it was a sold out crowd. And, and, and Thomas X was supposed to just be an, a fill-in guy. He was supposed to be, you know, the opening act. We had, a, we had Tito Ibar, we had Chief Swag, MC1, who's a VMA award winner. And myself, I was supposed to be trying to be this comedian. And I, I called Thomas. I called you, man. And you came at the last minute. You came over. You drove all the way over in your own car. Didn't fly you in or anything. And I don't know how far, you know, uh, Turtle Mountain is from here, but I know you drove over. And uh, you were on your way to a basketball tournament. And I remember uh, you came out and you had a handful of CDs. I don't remember how many CDs you had, but it you just took over the show. No disrespect to Swag and no disrespect to Tito or, or One, but, man, you just stole the show that night. You know, I mean, it was just like everybody was like, who is this Thomas X, you know? And, and then from there, everybody heard about you after that because I was just over there. And they all know about who Thomas X is with – you know, res rap records. And then you went off to your basketball tournament. But like that what to me was one of the one of my greatest nights just to see the see the the the, the way that we all were in, in our in our elements, you know, before MC one was, you know, um uh, a VMA award winner before, you know, Res Rap Re, Res Rap Records really came about, you know. Um I know your new album just dropped and just blew me out of the water you know like that night you know and how all of us and you know, i mean don't you see how powerful it is that when your talent is displayed you're even in awe you know and i know you had to be surprised that night a little bit i know? was i because at that time i never performed in turtle mountain i went there as a kid once and like i'm driving out there and at the time my car was getting fixed so i was in like a really just little bitty rental car i didn't know if i was gonna make it right so i was like just by myself about a five-hour trip like you know, new place. I'm always a little nervous. Don't know what it's going to be like. Don't know what the setting is. And then I look behind the curtain and this place is filled up, Man. you know, because like sometimes at the time I'll do shows, you know, a handful of people. Sometimes it's like a rocking show. Sometimes it's not so. So I looked out there just like place was full. And it I, was sold out. Yeah. It and was I was sold like, out. whoa. And then like not only was it full, but like all of the youth and the kids came up to the stage mm -hmm. and I'm like, all right. So as soon as like. I remember MC1 dropped my music as soon as I stepped on stage. It wasn't no, like, I came on an intro. You introed me. 
came on and just like had to get right into it Mm -hmm. and that's like whereas a rapper you got to like prove yourself like all right you know don't don't fumble it you got to come out here killing as soon as like my first line came out yeah i was i was in the mode and like because they gave the energy right back the kids are feeling it if i tell them to throw their hands up they threw their hands up it was crazy yeah like i remember i had to like contain them from the stage at one point that Mm -hmm. was a fun show yeah and like um and i appreciate you for bringing me out there and because that's what you do bro like i see you've been given a platform to all kinds of native artists you know you just came to red lake and you're like said hey i'm doing this show in turtle mountain you know just come out there you know we'll take care of you Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. yeah real fun show that that was a good time and that's what it's all about is giving it to that next generation you know giving it to the people who want to do something if there's anybody out there that wants to become something i mean and you become it you know give give it to somebody else you know that's what all this is about I, I see that with Superman. Like he's got this big platform, and he's got so many videos and songs and things going on, and he's like always sharing all these other native rappers, mm-hmm. native comedians, and like native performers, entertainers. He's like always showing love. He's like trying to like put people on, and because when people like you and him, and you know like the 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 bigger names in native country as far as entertainment goes, when you guys show love to the people coming up it like uh does something for our platform yeah you know like uh denami thomas you know he would me and him linked up and he starts sharing my videos and all of a sudden i'm getting an extra couple hundred you know likes on the facebook page and views and stuff and so i I like the network that we have right now there's a lot of like really um talented artists but also like you know genuine people want to help each other out yeah you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I definitely want to do that for the younger generation coming up to of rappers, producers, entertainers. Yeah. And then, you know, that's one thing that I want to, you know, encourage the people that may follow me or may be inspired by me is I want them to see like when when you're good to people, man, they're going to be good to you, you know, and, and, you know, you know, both you and I, you know, there there's some events that they have to decide if they want Thomas X or if they want Chance Rush, if they want Superman, if they want Casey Nicholson. And as as long as we're, we're we're all good to each other, we realize that, you know, med- good medicine is good medicine. It doesn't matter who you get as long as you, you know that, you know, you're going to get uh, some, something special. You're going to get someone special. And so, man, I, I'm, I'm really proud of all you guys, man. You know, you and Dayami and, and Soup, MC1, Robert Johnston, Casey Nicholson, Bunky, I mean, Ryan Redcorn, uh, Tito. You know, Ruben, Ruben Crow, Crowfeather. I mean, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm grateful for, for what all of you guys do, and you know, I just, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of everybody that's wanting to do something good for other people. You know, and God will, He'll take care of me and, and my family the way that it needs to be taken care of. You know, so I feel uh, that, bro. Yeah, and congratulations, man. You gonna have your first little guy right you have your first little man it's gonna show up in march you ready yeah i got the sun on the way uh it's coming up fast man so i gotta do the changing pampers all over again yeah, yeah. <laughs> i'm excited bro yeah i will i'll give you some advice if if, if you want your son to be a, a really good sports fan you want to teach him the word skull and you want him to wear purple oh yeah and, and you, you already know to, yeah you want him to be a viking you know so Bro, I think we're going to win Saturday. We're beating the 49ers. You know, you, you've experienced this. I've experienced this. The Vikings have experienced this this, this past weekend that um, anything's possible. You know, I, I said it. I said it from the jump that we're going to the Super Bowl. I don't, you know, when we get there, we'll see. But we're going to the Super Bowl. I, I, re- I really believe in that, you know, and, and, and not just because I'm a Viking fan, but because, you know, sometimes when people doubt you, people step up. I mean, I've seen so many people do that when they, you know, when, when they've been doubted, you know, they, they've doubted them and they've stepped up. I learned that when ro- watching Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. Yeah. That's, that, that's the real message behind it. Yeah, yeah. Yo, so. so, like, a few days ago, man, I saw Super Duper Quadruple OG, Triple man. OG, Snoop D-O-Double-G literally give you a shout-out. What, what's behind that? How'd that come about? Man, you know, I, I'll tell you this. When you have a team and you assemble a team that's going to help you get your message out there and it's going to help you, uh, in, you know, in, in your journey to inspire people, then other teams will show up. So, you know, uh, my, my marketing team, uh, which I'm really grateful for, you know, I'm, re- I'm really proud of you know, my marketing team. Um, you know, we, we celebrate we celebrate 
uh, 20 years of Chantrush.com this past week. Uh, I, I, I walked out of my office in 2000 and I said, this, this is it. You know, I'm, I'm going to go do this line of work. I'm going to go out and, and, and impact uh, communities all across the country. And it just happened to be that 20 years later, I was in a meeting with my, with my, um, my marketing team. My marketing team reached out to his marketing team and, uh, you know, just kind of, you know, told them, you know, hey, man, this, you know, this young man here, he's, uh, well, hopefully they said young man. You know, this guy here has been a, a, an advocate in Indian country for the past 20 years. And, um, you know, if, if y'all can give him a plug. And so Snoop, you know, uh, you know, recorded that, sent that back to, to us. I mean, I didn't even know nothing. I didn't know anything about it. My marketing team was kind of behind all that. And so when I opened that up, you know, and, and I heard, you know, Snoop, encouraging me and thanking me for my work I, I, I got emotional you know and and uh, sometimes we all have to uh, you know just believe that we're going to be on that platform one day you know I mean I, I've watched all these I've watched thousands of movies and there wasn't one movie that I watched that I said you know I won't be there one day I, I always thought that I would you know uh, put myself in a position and now that we're here to to be put in a position now we just have to, and I did everything that I could, you know, in my initiatives to be on another level. That's what we're aiming for is 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 to get on that get on that another level. But uh, I'm I'm real. I'm still in shock that Snoop Dogg, you know, kind of had some love for me. But you know, it's not even my marketing team. But when you do good things, you know, good things will happen to you. You know. Yeah, bro. Definitely. What you what you put out in the world is uh what you will get back. Yep. For sure. Yeah. Um, uh, give them, give the people your social media platforms and your website. Okay. So social media is just Chansley Rush. Uh, but if you want to check out my fan page on Facebook only, it's Team Chansley Rush. If you don't want to mess with all that, just go to ChanceRush dot com. Click on the social media links. That's ChanceRush dot com. And my motto is Let's go. I'm ready. I'm always ready. You know, you put me on a comedy stage. I'm not even a comedian. I knock it out of the park. Put me on a rap stage. Give me a beat. Um, I'll embarrass myself, but I'll have fun, and I'm I'm always ready, man. I'm always ready, like Thomas X, man. I'm I'm, I'm ready to do the thing, and you know, um, and congratulations, man. I'm I'm proud of your podcast. I'm proud, I'm proud of Red Mike, and I really am honored to be able to come and sit with you for a little bit. This is a big deal to me, man. I oh, appreciate it, bro. I'm so I, I knew like when you were coming up for the wellness conference, I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna do it if I gotta like find a spot somewhere with the mm -hmm. gear. I gotta get a chance on the podcast, so I'm glad we did this. Yeah, man. Uh, real quick, can you show the camera your T-shirt you got there? Hey, man. Columbus did not because he didn't. www.chancerush.com. You can buy your apparel and T-shirts yep. on there. You can buy apparel. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Hit up the website, buy all his T-shirts. He's got a bunch of dope gear. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, brother, um, I'm sure we'll meet up again at the youth conference. We got one more day of the wellness conference tomorrow. So everybody go follow his social media. Check out the website. And uh, thanks for tuning in to Red Mike Podcast. Red Mike Podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us. Peace. God bless. Good night. This is Red Mike Podcast. You can wobble, man. Be rich for tuning in to Red Mike Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> oh, hey, we gotta get a picture real quick. Um, okay. It's like, like we're still doing it.